Why have I not seen over the last couple of days, last couple of weeks, anything more about monkeypox or a new COVID variant? Are we over both of those things, Dr. Mark? Well, so first of all, uh, monkeypox has decreased, and it's mainly in the in the gay and bisexual population, and we have more control over it. Right. We're, we're getting real-time information. We, we still need more vaccines, but it's looking like a lot of it was media hype, but something that we needed to pay attention to. And as far as COVID, I think the untold story of COVID is that for a year now, we've been in the Omicron family, which means that's good news. No one, the media never t- likes to tell good news, right? So the good, that means that we're all developing some immunity because 80% of the country has had some form or other of COVID. They've got natural immunity. If you add a vaccine to it, that, that's an immune protection that we're starting to see. That's the exit to the pandemic. Uh, so I think, I think that in both cases, there's good news. By the way, I wanted to make a quick comment about your first point about the woman and the children. I couldn't agree more about that in in the Coney Island murders of children. Okay, she was evicted. Okay, she was evicted. Okay, she's suffering from economic losses. Okay, a lot of this has to do with the pandemic. But no matter what, your children have to be honored and cherished, period. Yeah, doctor, again, I'm I'm certainly not into medicine or psychology, but to me, we use so much of this as excuse. You know, you're right. depressed, somebody yep. yelled at you in school, yep. you lost your job, so you can go out and kill people. It's really, to me, it's absolutely wrong. We have to start drawing much stricter lines. Completely agree with that, and that's why I don't like using that story as an example of, you know, pandemic depression or anything. I know, right. I'm, I'm sick of that uh, defense, the, uh, the insanity defense and all that stuff. Get rid of it. 